uh, I, I like to use perfect space, it's nice. Um, let's see. Go right here and just, you know, pick one, center. Um, try not to make it too wet, try to get it just right. You know you can live at the club tonight. So many players is jumping you, I don't want to fight. But I know if I just get your name, girl, it won't be long till I see your face again. You are so gorgeous, baby. I wanna be a friend so you can be my lady. Maybe have a chance to get to know you well. All you gotta do is tell me what show you are hell, baby. Alright, so we go back there. Now we add the the, the beat and the bass line. So you got drums, bass. See how you walking in at the club tonight. So many players just jacking you out on one. key in your mix is that you want the lead vocal right down the middle and you want it to be the most profound you want it to be heard the most but you don't want it to be overpowering so you have to take your ears take reference material and figure out how you want the mix to be but the lead vocal is the most important vocal and then the second would be the second part is going to be your bass and your drums and then the rest kind of just falls into place now when we're mixing vocals what you want to do is what I do when I'm recording backing vocals is I keep them left and right and I try to make them stereo. So right now I have on the main chorus I have four vocals. Um, for each voice I have two recordings for each voice. In this case I did two voices on this harmony. I just there's no harmony. It's just a main melody and also an octave higher. So the one that's higher I don't want it to be super duper loud. I just want it to be there in support of the main vocal. So you go right here to pan, and I'm just going to pan it to say 60% left and right. And then on the high, or the octave higher, I'm going to pan that to 80% left and 80% right. Okay? And that will give you that stereo effect. Okay? And it will give you kind of, it will kind of hug the vocals. And then what you want to do is also you'll want to put compression you want to put compression on the vocals so we're going to go to audio effects we're going to go to the vocal send which is where the vocals are coming out of and we're going to put compression on there so you can look through all your audio effects and find a compressor that you're looking for i'm using the sonatus fx and i'm just using they have a preset for vocals and i'm taking them all the way up just moving them up to where the top of that curve is right close to 0 dB and then also um, you'll want to silk those out a little you want to make them a little silky sounding so I'll go to effects and I'm going to put a high a high range filter on there um, or a, uh, an equalizer I'm going to use an equalizer cakewalk equalizer or EQ and then I'm going to use a preset here called high frequency boost and I'll take it down a little bit because it's really high, but it basically gives adds some silk to the vocals. Okay. And then at the end of that, you'll also want to put some either a uh, either a reverb or uh, sometimes you can even put a um, uh, you can even put chorus on there if you want. Let's just let's see if we can find a chorus that we like. We'll put a chorus on there. Why not? Uh, we'll put a basic, basic chorus. Just something not too overwhelming. See if we can find a find a preset that's cool. Um, we're gonna go over here. Switch to our track view. We're gonna go to the chorus. And uh, we'll, we'll just mute the uh, music for right now. And then we'll take off the solo. And we'll mute our main track. Hit me on a YouTube. Hit me on a YouTube. Baby, I really want to see you. Okay, so what 
what that'll do is you don't want to you don't want to overdo it with your effects. You just want to put them on there and make them sound nice and sweet. I'm gonna go back over here, um, and then so we got a little chorus on there. We got our E, and then we're gonna add perfect uh, perfect space for some reverb. Um, then we'll we'll wet it up a little bit. Not it'll be more wet than the main vocal, but it won't be as wet as the main vocal. Hit me on a YouTube. And that's how you add effects. Hit me on a YouTube. So again, you add the auto tune to each track because auto tune can't tune all you know several voices at one time. It has to tune one voice at a time. So that's why I have so many instances of auto tune here. But then the rest of them can go to the uh, main vocal send, and then you can add compression and stuff to that vocal send right there, and then you can mix them any way that you want to mix them. Alright. Now we're gonna put unmute it and see what it sounds like. that we're going to try to mix it up mix it a little bit you know what I mean try to get it right the high was obviously too high on that and then we're, now we're going to play it back and just keep toying with it and see what it do but that's basically the gist of of how you add effects to uh, to your sounds and stuff pretty much that's it for adding effects and everything oh the last thing I want to show you is what I like to do is add during the mix I like to add um, boost, which is a limiter, which will give you a full sound. And I think it's better to mix with the limiter on there so you can get the sound that you're looking for. And that's going to bring all the music and the vocals up to like the main, give you a bunch of pop. Uh, it'll give it, make it punchy, but then it'll keep, it will keep everything from peaking because a uh, boost basically prevents it from going over and sounding distorted. So here's what you get. And this makes it louder. So it makes it louder. Anybody was wondering that is me singing just in case you wondering and and uh, everything else is kind of just tweaking a little bit and making sure um, that you get the sound that you want uh, what you want to do is put it on tweeters put it on the subs um, just keep tweaking it until you get the sound that you're looking for so now I'm just gonna keep messing with it until I get the mix that I'm looking for and when I'm when I get that mix I'm going to hit you back and we'll talk about once we get our final mix, we'll talk about mastering and um, and so on. All right, talk to you later. See you on part four.